Let me give you guys some context for today's video. I was told by someone that I do not appreciate or respect Natalie, the light assassin, as much as I should, and that since she was buffed in a, or changed or whatever, in a balance patch like a year ago, something like that, that she was actually a good unit and I'm not giving her enough thought or appreciation or respect, and I'm like, is she though? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but we already happen to have her built. I built her so long ago and I just don't ever use her. She was changed after that and I just never really thought too much about it. So today we're gonna play around with Natalie, the light assassin, which is something I don't even remember the last time we even did a video on. Uh, but we'll see what we're gonna take her to some guild wars. We actually have some guild wars that are guild wars going on now, which is great. We're on the main on the global server. I really gotta make a logo for that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's take a look real quick at what she does. Her first skill, defense break, just like the other assassins. Uh, I'm sorry, the butt buttons. Gotta make sure we say it right. Second skill, death verdict, attacks the enemy two times, brands and silences, reusable in three turns. Uh, and then the silent reaper, the third skill, attacks and silences the enemy for two turns. If the target dies, all other enemies will receive the remaining silence effect. So it only happens if they die. So it's a single target nuke, and the silence only happens if we kill the target. Um, okay, enemies under the silence effect will be able to use skills with the cooldown time, excluding the passive skills. But it's not like a cooldown reset, like for example, like the the um, the fire succubus will do a cooldown of two turns, right? But this is just silence, so you could cleanse the silence off, you could cleanse the silence off, or you could cleanse the silence off, right? So anyway, or I mean, the passives don't really come into play with the silence. So uh, we're gonna take her to some guild wars. Yada yada yada. Bagel always talks too much. Let's just take her to some guild wars. Let's see if I'm wrong and she's actually amazing. So here's the deal. I really like this idea. We're gonna take her in, and then we're also going to take the dark one, Isabel. We're gonna see them side by side. Which one we like the most? So we have a speed lead. We have both speed leads. We have strip here. We have strip here. We have defense break here. We have a defense break. Here, we have, she does her own attack power buff, already points for her. She does not do her own attack power buff, so we have this attack, but it's very similar teams. So, let's see how it does. We're gonna totally fail. I know we're gonna totally fail. This is gonna go horribly. Something's gonna go really wrong. I don't know, because we're recording and that's why something's gonna go. But we're, we try with the easy, uh, easy defense first. Uh, or the easier, easier defenses first, because it's not really anything too crazy. We'll see what she does here. She's gonna kill things, and then she's gonna kill more things. That's that's how that's generally how Isabel works, right? So Isabel doing good so far. We have no problems with that, and we'll just auto at this point. Fairly easy, fairly quick and straightforward, and everything. Let's do this. Make I mean, it doesn't make any sense if we do sweeping waves now. If she's just gonna silence things, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to do skill three. Then we're gonna do one of these. Now, who do we need to not actually? Okay, so we definitely need to kill something, and then. It's who who took more damage? Varad or Vigor? I feel like we'll do. Let's do this. Let's do this. Please kill. Please kill. Okay, nice. Nice. But we resisted on the Bellinus. So we have to silence again. And do we get we didn't get it. Okay. So off to a great start. Let's do. I would like to do. Actually, I think we're just gonna wind up killing that Varad, because we're gonna move before the Varad. I think we're gonna wind up killing him, so let's decrease the attack age on him. People get triggered when I use skill too, I don't know why, but they do. Let's do that. So we killed on there, right? So Bellinus would have gotten, a, he, he would have cut in already if we didn't uh, decrease the attack age, or sorry, absorb the attack age. And he didn't do the right skills. Anyway, so it wound up going okay. Second match, a little bit more meta, at least for the first team. At least for the first team, right? The first team is a little bit more meta, because we saw stuff like this in the Guild Seed Tournament uh, as well. Second team, that says, hey, please Lucian me. That's what that says to me. Uh, so we're going to, I mean, we're not going to Lucian it. I feel like here's what's going to happen. First team, RNG can happen either way. RNG can happen. I don't think they outspeed. They're not going to outspeed this cheap. If they outspeed, you know what, if if anything outspeeds this Chiwu, then wow, I'm going to give them so much credit for having crazy runes. Um, second team, though, what's going to happen is Triton's going to go first, uh, probably attack age decrease. I think that something's going to, I think that Bastet's going to cut in with this, uh, with this assassin for the second team. So let's see. But I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, and do we get the R, yes, okay, there we go. So we'll do one of these. 
defense break, we attack age pushback, we do capture opportunity, we will do one of you. And then we get, and, and then we're gonna dismount you. And then we'll do one of you, because you know she's gonna get a, she's gonna get a thing. Never mind. Kamun didn't, uh, Kamun didn't get a turn. He didn't cut in. So now we gotta actually strip this. No, never mind. We don't have to strip anything off. Let's do one of those. Let's do one of these. Not that bad. See, you were worried about nothing. You're watching like, I wasn't worried. I didn't care either way. I don't care if you win or lose, Bagel. I hate you either way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so nice. Okay. So. Will Bastet still cut? Will Bastet still cut? If we do this, will Bastet still cut? It's a good question. I feel like the smart play is to silence. I feel like that's the smart play. I'm gonna silence. I'm gonna silence, because I think Bastet's still gonna cut. Nice. Okay, so we did get the silence. So let's do one of you. And <laughs> now we're just gonna silence more. <laughs> we're just gonna silence more. Okay, let's kill Bastet. Let's kill Bastet, and we'll do some mo more silences. Well, that really doesn't show too much, because it was already, <laughs> already silenced. <laughs> yeah, he's so, Galleon is so dead right now. Galleon is so dead. Let's do one of these. Let's try to kill with this. Very nice. And then we'll try to silence some more. Let's do this. And then, because I, I I know he's going to violent proc and he's going to get his... No, he's not going to violent proc. Okay. So that could... Some of those plays could be questionable since he didn't do what I thought he was going to do. He didn't violent proc, so... I, I, I can understand that some of those plays, you guys be like, uh, I don't know if I agree with that, Bagel. I w Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do another. This is not going to kill. Oh, never mind. It killed. So, not, not bad for the second team either. Third battle, definitely the most meta of all. We're going to switch it up, though, because the last time we used Isabel on the top team, we're going to use Isabel on, with the uh, Kamun and the Vigor. So we're going to use Isabel on the bottom team. This Clara could definitely outspeed the Chibu. We may just lose based on that. And I actually, I think the Clara probably outspeeds the Chibu because this is a very meta defense. They probably put decent enough runes on it. So let's see how it does. We want to try Isabel against... I mean, we want to try Natalie. Which one is which again? Hold on. We want to try Natalie. This is Natalie. This is Isabel. We want to try Natalie against the Kamun Vigor Skogel. So let's see how it does. I mean, this is, it's, it's four star units and we're taking like Nat 5 strippers into them. Ooh, very fast. Okay. That was almost as fast as the, um, as the Triton. Resisted. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Resisted. They definitely have, oh, oh you know what? <laughs> Okay, I think I think we lose this one, guys. Uh, we have no damage now. We have no damage. So, GG on that one. Uh, there you go. That's the end of the Natalie's battle. At least she died in the third battle and not the first battle. Okay, so let's see. Can we decrease tech age on... Very nice. Please get this Clara. That's all I ask. We didn't get the Clara! Oh, no, we didn't get the Clara. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. We don't have a chance, do we? Do we have- hold on, okay. So, there's a speed- here's the- here's the situation. There's a speed break on the, uh, Isabel. I still think that doesn't- I still think she's- she's definitely gonna still move first before- I mean, the speed break is not a million speed, right? So, yeah, I still think that we're fine. Yeah, she's still gonna move before anything, so. And then we kill. Very nice. And then he's gonna keep hitting the chew. Okay, so we okay. End of the day, RNG did happen, but at least we still got to see three whole matches with Isabel, which is very nice considering the curse of the YouTubers, where you don't even you, like it dies the usually it dies the first match, right? The curse of the YouTubers. Anytime anyone tries to spotlight something, it's like first match dead. <laughs> so at least we got to see. Uh, what she can do in three different matches. Um, she didn't do fantastic, but she didn't do terrible either. She did kind of, in my opinion, kind of somewhere in the middle, which is kind of what I thought she was going to do. I, I wasn't really too like, oh my god, she's amazing, or oh my god, she's absolutely terrible, right? So anyway, that's her for that. 
Uh, she's just on attack or damage attack on switch. She's not even grinded or anything, right? Maybe she could have survived a little bit longer if she was fully grinded. She could have probably survived a little bit longer. Too. Well, she had a defense break. Like, that... I'm trying to think back how much damage it was. I don't remember how much damage it was. I think maybe she would have still died even if it was uh, even more grinded. But anyway, that's the runes on Natalie. I wanted to make her at least fast enough to not get hopefully cut in if we use her with uh, Galleon and Triton. Because you do need to make whatever DPS unit you put with those fast enough to not... You can't put it like super, super slow, right? Because you, can you just can't put it super, super slow. Otherwise, it's not. It's going to get cut in. It's not going to get a turn. Um... For Isabel, because I know people are going to ask, Isabel's also fully skilled up as well. Um, Isabel can be slower because uh, of the team that we're using Isabel with. So we have a little bit of attack age pushback with the Chibi. We, we also have more attack age pushback for the enemies with Savannah. So just based on the team, and if we if you don't have Savannah, if you're like, oh, I want to use that team, but I don't have Savannah, the Water Phantom Thief is also a good option. Really, really good option for there. If you don't have Isabel, even though she was a Hall of Heroes, wasn't she? I think they're both Hall of Heroes. I'm pretty positive they're both Hall of Heroes. But if you don't have Isabel, Tanya is another really nice one to use with that team. So ch you can use Chi Wu Lure and, uh, and Tanya, the, the Wind One. Wind One does very similar to Isabel. But with that team, there's two units that are attack age push, uh, pushing back attack age. The Chi Wu and the Lure, or the Chi Wu and the Savannah. And then this way you can have Isabel a little bit slower or Tanya a little bit slower, and you don't have to worry about the speed tuning necessarily for the... She was doing good! I didn't realize that this was... Didn't we use her before? And it wasn't even... Ma or... Well, so Isabel, even without being uh, upgraded fully, is uh, still... I still prefer Isabel, in... but that's just me. Anyway, but I, I, I also like it because she does her own attack power buff. Which means that you can have another uh, another unit in there. Like, you don't need the Galleon for the attack buff defense break. You can just use, like, something else that defense breaks and then does something else with the team, right? Or you could also use, like, a, uh, Gemini and Orion as well with an Isabel team. So anyway, but then you have to make Isabel faster. Just something to keep in mind. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Just wanted to show some Isabel versus uh, Natalie because... Uh, I was told that I was not using her right, and I don't appreciate her, and I mean, she, it's not that she's terrible, it's just that she's like, I just prefer other stuff, I just prefer to use other stuff. But anyway, that's it for this one, hope you guys enjoyed it, what do you think, leave it in the comments below, this way I could look at it and be like, nah, they're wrong, what do you, oh, oh, terrible, terrible idea. Anyway, that's it for this one, hope you guys enjoyed it, I will see you as always in the next one.